what I call plaque landmines that live in your system. When you're born, you have these beautiful blood vessels, nice, clean blood flow through the heart, beats, everybody's happy. And along comes Ronald McDonald and the Colonel and Captain D's, and you get some cholesterol that builds up over the course of time. Now, until it builds up and pinches you off, you don't get angina or chest pain. You've had none of that. No. But you will hear about some people who have a normal cholesterol and no chest pain that fall over dead with no warning. Tim Russ, the news guy, allegedly ruptured a plaque. And what happens is this cholesterol builds up in your system. Now, there's still plenty of blood flowing down through it to your heart beating down here, but you get this cholesterol that builds up and wants to break through. Your body makes sort of a calcium band-aid that plugs that up, like trying to step on a geyser. You know, put one here and there and there and mm -hmm. there, but eventually the volcano boom, it breaks through. But when it does that, the blood that's coming down to the heart hits it, makes a gooey mess, heart attack, no blood going through. All right? So the question comes, who has these plaque landmines sitting around that might bite them that they have no warning of? And the test I want you to think about getting done, which is called a calcium scoring test, measures the number of calcium band-aids or manhole covers your body's made. You want your score to be zero. If it's zero, the likelihood you'll rupture plaque the next five to seven years is very, very small. If it comes back anything above zero, even one, it means you've ruptured plaque. And that's going to change how we would approach your cholesterol, it might change your uh, approach aspirin. We'll sometimes talk about diabetes risk with this. It comes back 400 or more, a high percentile, means you automatically walk on a treadmill. Now, the test includes the CAT scan of your heart and a reading by the cardiologist, a CAT scan of the lung, because that's in the picture view window, mm -hmm. and a reading by the radiologist. Now, I'll still go over it afterwards, too. But it could affect lifestyle changes, medication changes, and it could make a big difference as far as what's going on that you don't feel at all. For 900 bucks, it's a very good deal. You lay on a table, CAT scan takes 12, 13 minutes, there's no walking, there's no pain involved, and these tests would certainly benefit you.